Hello, I'm John Ross, and today I'm going to show you how to draw some of your favorite characters from Diary of a Wimpy Alien. And remember, we don't make mistakes, just happy aliens. Cut! This is too dumb. Just do it normal. Hey, I'm John Mondelli, the animator for Diary of a Wimpy Alien. You know, when designing the look of the animated sequences, I had a lot of fun getting to parody the art style of Jeff Kinney. And now that we're gearing up to start season two, the team thought it might be fun if I show you how you can draw some of your favorite Wimpy Alien characters. All you need is some paper and a marker. So today I'm going to show you how to draw Greg. Now, I'll be drawing on the computer, but you can follow along with a piece of paper. Just make sure that if you are drawing with a marker, always have a second piece of paper underneath to catch any ink that might bleed through. All right, let's begin. All right, let's draw Greg. So I always start off with his big old bulbous alien head. Uh, I usually start right around the corner of the mouth in the front of his face and work my way up. So starting here, we'll go up and just basically curve around the back big old hoop, swoosh back around, and then I dip down a little bit lower because I'm going down to make his chin, which kind of juts out a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's the basic shape of his head. From there, we'll do the inside of his mouth. I like to say it's kind of peanut shaped, meaning it's a little wider on each end, you know, on the left to the right, and it kind of narrows in the center. So starting there at that corner of the mouth again, we dip down, I go up, and we're kind of making a almost like a figure eight or an infinity sign. And then go underneath and do a little curve like that for the lower lip. Cool. All right, now hit the upper lip because it's got a little bit of def definition to it. Uh, that's another little swoosh. It's a little got a little bit of a dip in the middle, but it's just kind of a whoosh. <laughs> that, that's the best way to describe it. Dip down and yeah, kind of like that. All right. Now, let's do his teeth. He's got four upper teeth that I like to draw with fangs on the either side, meaning the ones on the left and on the right are a little bit longer, but those can literally just be little up, down, or down, up swooshes. So first fang, then the little teeth, and the last fang. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's fill in the inside of his mouth now, which is just, uh, you can fill that in with your marker. Just scribble all in there and make sure you fill that whole area up with black. By the way, if you ever want to make your own Wimpy Alien or dress up like Greg Zinli, we created a store featuring items purchased for Diary of a Wimpy Alien. You'll see things like the masks worn by Greg and Roderick, the Chucky doll from episodes 6, 9, and 10, and even some fun toys that we love and we think you will too. You can check that out at the link in the description below. All right, now he's got details on the top of his head. I just kept it simple and did three lines across instead of doing the grid pattern or any of the the details that you'd see on a normal xenomorph because this is very simple in the style of wimpy kid. So I just do three curved little lines right on the top of his head, just like that. And the details on the underside of his head, similar thing. So it's another little swoosh going right here along the curve of the back of his head. So let's draw that swoosh down and come back and curve down a little bit, just like that. And same thing, to, like the top of the head, these are just little curved lines, fairly evenly spaced that just go from the front to the back. And they don't have to be a specific uh, amount. You can draw as many or as few as you want, just whatever fits in that space. All right, that's Greg's head. Let's move on to the body. So Greg's body is nice and simple. It's pretty much a straight line. So we'll start with the shirt. Starting right about here, we'll draw a line curving just slightly, and this will be the front of the shirt. Just like that. All right, so that is the front of the shirt. Now, before we draw the rest of the shirt, we're gonna draw his arm because it is in front of the shirt, so we wanna make sure that that doesn't get covered up by the other lines. So, let's draw a little bit of a curve from right here down to right about there. And now the back side of the arm, connecting just like this. Now the cuff is basically a rectangle, but uh, with a little bit of a curve to it. So kind of like this, there we go, other sides. And there we are, there's the cuff of the shirt. And now his arm, his arm is a little thinner than the shirt, but it's just a straight line right there and a straight line right there, just like that. And now the hand, he's got claws basically. So his hand is very simple. I start with a thumb, I just come out, make a little curved line down, and then go back. And now the fingers, there's just three of those going down. So down, up, down, up, 
down, up, and then curve back around to meet the wrist. All right, there we go. Now, in the poster, he's got a backpack. You don't have to draw the backpack if you don't want. You can always just do a straight line right here and just do Greg without the backpack. If you want to draw the backpack, though, it's pretty easy. It's just a circle, basically, or an oval. So we just kind of draw a, a loop like that. And the backpack strap, of course, is just a little line that we draw right there. And now, if you want, you can go ahead and fill in the backpack. Just use your marker and fill in all that space. Alright, now let's move on to the other arm. Alright, so his other arm, he's waving in the original poster I did, so let's do it like that. Starting right around the chin, let's have another little curve come out. It's not super long, but this is just part of the sleeve. So, about like that. And let's go ahead and draw the other cuff, which is also similar to the, uh, the first one we did, about the same size. And let's have this other curve come back up and meet right over there. Okay, now let's draw the arm. So the arm, it, he's got these noodly arms, so just curving right back out again, just like the sleeve following about the same path, just like that. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter, because Greg is supposed to be a, a notebook drawing anyway. So it's a very simple style. All right, let's draw the hand. Similar to the first one. He's just got these claw fingers, very simple. And draw the thumb, same thing. All right, and there we go, there's Greg's hand. All right, and last thing left to do are his legs and feet. So let's draw a little line here for the waist for the bottom of the shirt. And let's start working on the legs. His legs are super simple. They're just straight lines. Well, maybe with a little bit of a curve to them, but just very simple. And back up. There we go. All right, and draw the other legs. Same thing, down and another. All right. Now for his feet, they're uh, just these sort of oval shapes. They're a little flat on the bottom. But there we go. Let's draw the other one. Same kind of thing, a little oval shape. All right, there we go. Now, all that's left to do is fill in the legs, and you will have your very own Greg Zinli drawing. All right, and there we go. There is Greg Zinli. So that's uh, that's how you draw Greg. Feel free to try out different poses and experiment with it if you want and come up with your own way of drawing him. But there are the basics for how to draw Greg. So have fun drawing and be sure to stay tuned for the premiere of Diary of a Wimpy Alien Season 2.